also, you know, you both are from Baltimore. So do you guys feel like a lot of artists out here? Um, I'm in D.C., of course. I'm from D.C. So do you feel like people have to actually leave the city? And I'm always going back and forth with people about this because I feel like so many talented people and successful people, they come from the DMV area. And then we kind of don't get the, the recognition of um, talented creatives and entrepreneurs that come from our city. Mm -hmm. It's cliche. As cliche as it is of a thing, it's real at the same time. It's like one of those stereotypes you don't want to lean into, but the stereotype got a lot, it <laughs> got a lot of truth to it. Um, definitely, that was a part of our formula at one point. I'm going to say, um, because it was like we traveled and tapped into every source that we could possibly tap into in this area. And it was like either the people wasn't on a certain level or they think they didn't think we were on a certain level. It's like leaving out of your what's the saying? To 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 be successful, go where you applaud it. Mm -hmm. Or like go where you celebrate it. So it's like whether you want to admit it or not, it's like, you know, in Baltimore you could be like Oh, that's such and such I went to school with, or my yeah. sister went to school with them, or they <laughs> I used to see them at the talent show. But when they used to, when they say stuff like that, it's a lot of times it's not to big you up. It's mm. just like, oh, I seen them like that, like that. Oh, that's versus you know, other places, people they be celebrating them, or when you come from another place. That's just how it is a lot of times. So we started taking meetings and 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 networking and connecting with people outside of baltimore like to to spread out to try to you know broaden our opportunity i would say broaden our opportunities we had to spread out of baltimore so yeah and, and to add to that is you know for somebody listening it's all about going where it is you know what i mean if you're trying to do real estate you need to go hang around some big dogs in real estate you know what i mean if you're trying to do the music business you got to go where the music business is. And if Baltimore was like Atlanta, we probably would have made it in Baltimore. You know what I mean? Um, because people have been there. Now, can you meet some people? There are people that are in Baltimore that's connected to the music business. So you know somebody in Baltimore that got you plugged in. But for the most part, uh, we didn't know nobody. We, we, we met somebody and we was following this guy around. We was like, he going to get us to where we need to be. We was like, just waiting for I'll turn you like, all right. And then ain't nothing happened. He kept just telling us, yeah, I know such and such. And then he was like, all right, ain't right. <laughs> go find somebody else, we know. And we did that so many times. It's no, crazy. So when people telling you, you know, that's what, but it, we, we did, but we, but then here's what we did. We kept going and we kept going and we, we grew wise, wise. Like we figured out that a lot of these people don't know what they talking about now we can hear the BS right away. You know what I mean? And then we outgrew the city, like Dante said. And, um, but in that meeting, sometimes when you peak, you meet somebody else that actually gets you in the next door. And through somebody we peaked here and at a guy named Anthony G that we met somebody named Troy Patterson, which led us to, to move to New Jersey. That trip to New Jersey was a, a was very important because we met an individual that led us to OG Paris, and her name was Stephanie Cook. So um, shout out to Stephanie Cook. So I say all that to say, sometimes you know you have to definitely leave your city or leave wherever you are because open doors could be anywhere. You know what I mean? If you know there's a ten million dollar door that's in Japan, are you getting on the plane? I'm definitely right. on that plane back there right now. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, Nietzsche, uh. <laughs> so, 